Hey Gemini, this is your reading for October 20th, 2020. Today's Tuesday. It's for the whole week. And um, if you want to see the rest of the reading, go to YouTube. All right, but here we go. Here, I'll be on Instagram here for one minute. In love, I was feeling like Aries energy could be helpful for you. Either someone who is an Aries sun, moon, or rising, or someone who just brings a certain level of excitement, enthusiasm, and courage with them everywhere that they go. Exploring excitement and enthusiasm in love without drama feels like it would be really supportive of a sort of satisfying life experience for you right now. A Libra, someone who is using and bringing forth a lot of Libra energy, still warm from the time that um, they spent with the sun in their season, will bring with them these sort of warm and fuzzy qualities, cuddles and compliments to, to you. I can see you uh, with this Libra and this Libra is sharing with you what they see as some really lovely qualities and you deserve to hear these things about yourself. Um, there does seem to be an element of past trauma that gets stirred up even in this healthy and supportive dynamic. And this is work that wants to be done and showing up honestly with a willingness to be vulnerable as well as a willingness to be perceived as weird will make it possible to get to the next level of the loving and it will be really worth it. Okay, money, let's talk about money. The best use of your dollars you have available right now is to spend within your home space, making your home space what you want it to be especially like moving into winter, okay? Getting cozy and creating a comfortable nest for the colder months. If funds are low, then do what you can with what you have, maybe rearranging or pulling out some things out of storage. Um, also, I see that there's maybe like someone who's doing some cleaning out of their space that has, has something to share with you. Maybe it's some nice blankets or throw pillows or I don't know what it is but there are ways to make your nest comfy without spending a lot of money. If you're choosing to haphazardly spend money on things that are not related to creating this comfortable nest and things that you don't actually need, I'm feeling like there could be a situation that comes up related to your home, like a repair or um, needing, like needing something new urgently related to home or security fourth house stuff that will force you to reprioritize your home as where you should be spending the money. So that came through. Keep that in mind. Like just being mindful of how you're spending your dollars. I'm going to say from between now and the election in particular, okay? Um, the urgent scenario will force you to realign your priorities when it comes to budgeting. Current events and Gemini's. We are collectively resolving karma around colonizing appropriation and the desire to flee or move on to um, other lands. We need you here to, to deal with this. You are, I started to get this feeling like in some ways, are you selectively choosing which op uh, oppressed peoples you are supporting and wanting to help? Are there other peoples that are being oppressed by groups that you identify or associate with that you are overlooking? I know it's an oversight that in general you want to show love and compassion to all people, but please take a look at the groups that you're affiliated with and make sure that they are in fact bringing out the best in you, not by um, what is trendy, but really are the actions and the values from this group bringing out the best in you. Just do your homework here and also to make sure that you're not, um, that you don't have a blind, a blind spot for a particular group. The way that you are able to express and you're open to admitting that you have been wrong about something is really showing us how this can be done. So you're bringing this possibility to all of us where once you realize you've made a mistake, it's okay to acknowledge that and then make things better. So your willingness to show up in that way is teaching by example. And thank you for that. Please keep it up. Your use of curiosity, flexibility, and openness to connect with different people seems, not seems, 
makes things better, in fact, on a local level. So keep that up and I thank you so much. With regard to your health, there may be temptation to get lost in booze, substances, shopping, or other forms of numbing out. You know deep down that you can't take a vacation from what's taking place here at this time, but you can take a vacation from what he, she, or they thinks about everything that's taking place by unplugging. So it feels like maybe a little bit of excessive um, media consumption on your part and unplugging can assist purging purging through the unplugging of the media. I don't know if you're gonna take like a social media break or if there's some sort of shift in your diet that will take place. If you do end up some, I think someone's going to end up with some digestive issues that end up sort of unintentionally purging you of um, what's in your body. But remember, if you do decide to do any sort of cleanse, to not do it in a way that is punitive, to do it in a way that is supportive of your body and to understand that no matter what you have been consuming or eating that um, we've been all been just sort of doing our best right now with the tensions that exist and you do not need to suffer because of what you were eating last week. Just be kind to yourself. With regard to creativity, finding inspiration in the quiet, indulge in the luxury of taking time to meditate or just sit silently outdoors. I can see you sitting outside. It's really beautiful. I wrote down here, I can see you meditating outdoors and it looks good on you, Gemini. Hold the space for the quiet, meaning don't skip the silence part, but do bring a book, um, like a sketchbook rather, or a notepad for jotting down what inspires you, either in drawing or in words. Bye.